<laughs> I just spent the last like uh, four and a half minutes talking to a camera that hasn't been recording. Um, but just to go over, this is day number two um, of my journey getting back into um, a ketosis or a ketogenic state, uh, stasis of things. Um, I started, uh, I had my avocado last night. So I'm doing a four day fasting mimicking diet to get jump started into ketosis. Um, I'm not exactly sure what my numbers were. I, I was at a 13.1. I think that actually might be close to ketosis. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I, I want to do this for health benefit reasons too. So um, I'm going to take um, some more measurements today to see where I'm at. I will use my precision extra to find out what my glucose ketone index is. I'm going to continue to do the four day um, fasting mimicking diet, which is I'm going to do basically two avocados, a little bit of MCT oil, um, and then um, a cup of coffee, which I started off with today. Um, I just, I like these cups. I don't go to Starbucks that much, but I've started going back again because they have Kerrygold butter. Um, so you can get a drip coffee, ask for Kerrygold butter, and they have stevia monk fruit mixture. So. I can get by um, in a pinch and get making a, a bulletproof-ish coffee. Um, so my two cups of coffee, my two avocados, and my two uh, green drinks, which are like um, my shake, they're the super greens. Uh, but I did something, I did, I did my workout today and I, f I did not want to go to the gym at all. I was looking for reasons not to go. I was on my way to the gym and I stopped twice to see if there's something else I can do. Um, but there's something in the back of my head that uh, I, I heard, I think, on one of those inspiration albums, it might have been Tony Robbins, about it must be done. Um, not that I want to do it, not that it, 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 it's a good thing to do, or it, it just, it's just, it's a must thing. So uh, I, to me, it was in my head, I must go to the gym. Um, it becomes one of those things that are just kind of non-negotiable, and uh, I've been trying to uh, train myself. So it's just day number two. And I already felt like quitting. I, I did a, a wad a workout of the day. I hear a wad called Murph, which is um, named after a hero. It was a workout to honor um, those who, who passed away. So um, that one was Murph. Um, I forgot the details, but I, I remember one of my CrossFit coaches um, telling me about it. So um, I'm gonna look into that and then probably put an update. But you run a mile and then you do 100 uh, pull-ups 200 push-ups and 300 air squats. Uh, the way I do it, I split it up into 20 rounds. So 5, 10, 15 um, at 20 rounds. And uh, so during my first mile, um, I was literally 0.17 miles into that first mile and I didn't, I wanted to quit. I just wanted to only do half a mile and only do half, only do 10 rounds and only do half a mile. And that was in my head was like, Let's make it easy. Let's make it doable. Let's get make some doable goals or reachable goals. And um, I just had in my head that it must be done. So um, I don't know. I just kept on doing it. Um, I just kept focused in a sense. I just kept telling myself it must be done. It must be done. Um, even that last mile, um, it seemed like the slowest mile that I've ever ran. Um, but uh, I posted, I think, uh, just under 50 minutes um, doing, um, when I finished that second mile and, uh, or finishing the whole workout. So it's challenging. I think, uh, I'm, I'm changing my goals to not have numbers and time or for all these certain things. Um, at the moment I'm coming back from an injury where, um, I broke my hand. Um, I broke my hip, um, massive toss, soft tissue damage over to my knees. I couldn't walk. Um, this is all things that happen, um, in, a motorcycle accident and it'll be almost a year um, coming up September 23rd so I'm gonna throw a little uh, soiree a little party um, celebrating um, my injury so um, that'll be happening September 23rd but um, coming back from that I, I had to I couldn't do much so this is the first kind of workout that that I've done since then and uh, I don't know it, it's a it's a it's a victory for me it truly is um, I felt like giving up on so many levels um, before. Um, no, I just gotta, I just gotta keep on doing it. So 
Um, I think the, the goal for me now is not to set up the numbers, like I was saying, but to set us just showing up. Um, that has had a tremendous impact in my life um, all over is when you just show up, um, just showing up to meetings, just showing up to um, to my community, showing up in family, showing up in relationship. Um, and I choose to show up at the gym um, and shifting my context to I want to look good to it must be done. So that has been kind of my mindset is like these workouts must be done. So when I was halfway through the the air squats and push-ups and pull-ups, kept telling myself it must be done. All I wanted to do was take a rest and walk out of there and um, just had head, my head, must be done. Um, I started that second mile, didn't want to do it. I, it was like the slowest mile, but I told myself it must be done. So um, I remember when the Giants won the Super Bowl, coach said, um, or not coach, um, one of the players said, uh, you know, if you throw your heart over the wall, your body will follow and um, um, that's how I feel like I'm doing. I want to approach this thing is just throw my heart um, and let my body follow. So um, that's just a quick update, of day number two. And I'll keep you posted. Um, oh, let me put up some numbers. One point seven, one point four four divide by one point seven. Um, glucose ketone index. So that's day number two. So there are my readings. Eleven point five. One six.